Hi everyone, this is my first voiceover and what better way than with making Christmas sugar cookies. Let me show you. For this recipe, I'm using two and three fourths cups of all purpose flour. That's a teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to whisk my dry ingredients together. You know, I like doing that before I set it aside. Whisk, 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 whisk. That's two sticks of butter in the bowl, room temp to it. I'm adding one and a half cups of sugar. I'm mixing them together until they are creamy. Creamy enough. Now I'm going to crack one large egg right into the bowl, something I normally do in a separate bowl first. Today, in the bowl, no shells. Now I'm gonna give it a little mix with my mixer. Next up is the vanilla extract. I'm adding two teaspoons. And giving it another mix. Adding the dry ingredients in three parts. Scraping down the bowl with my spatula. The dough looking pretty good. Nice and crumbly. But I'm going to jump in there with my hands anyway. Give it a few squeezes to make sure it holds the way it should. And it does. Now I'm scooping it out and rolling it into one inch balls and placing it on this 9 by 13 baking pan lined with parchment paper. Grabbing another scoop. Squeezing it along the way. I'm taking the bottom of a measuring cup that I sprayed with vegetable spray. I'm using it to press each ball down to about a half inch thick. And I tell you that vegetable spray really worked. It helped to make the dough not stick to the bottom of the measuring cup. A little shaping with the biscuit cutter. Don't have to do it, but I did. 
Here I'm pressing each cookie into some sanding sugar. I have some red, some green, some sprinkles in the back, and some white sanding sugar. I'm just pressing them in the sugar and placing them back on the baking pan. First batch ready. It's going into the oven that's preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to let them bake for 8 to 10 minutes. The rest of the cookie dough, I'm kneading it a few times, then rolling it out about a half inch thick to make some cute Christmas cutouts. First the star, which I made red because I forgot to take out the white sanding sugar. Then the Christmas tree. which of course is green. Snowflake, no red here this time. And the gingerbread man. I did make him red because he didn't like the sprinkles. Second batch ready for the oven. Got one more batch to go. Enjoy making Christmas sugar cookies just for you. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a merry, merry, merry Christmas.